gave their life for you. And all of your burden was taken upon him. He was clothed with shame. He was clothed with disgrace because of your sake. What the enemy has planned for your life, he took it upon himself. Where Adam and Eve failed us, he came and then restored the dominion back to man. So until you come to Jesus, you, you will not know the light. He said, the God of this world has blinded them. So Jesus is the only one who is the light. And when you follow that light, he said, you will be the light in the darkness. So you will be able to see. So the enemy will not be able to deceive you. Most things that the, the lies that enemy say to us, we accept. That the enemy will say, you are not good enough. You cannot achieve things. The enemy will say, this illness is for you and you accept it. The moment you accept what is not yours, it's yours then. Because if the enemy is telling all the slides that you are not good enough, and you are saying to yourself, you are not good enough, then you are not good enough. But Jesus is saying that you are from a royal, from a royal, you are from a royal place. You are, you are a royal priesthood. The king is your father. So you are from royalty. He even said in his word in Psalms, he said, ye are gods. So you have dominion over every principalities you have ev you have dominion over every wicked priest of this world but most people are so blinded that they are not able to see that they have power the enemy the, the bible says he has devices he has no power people are too focused on saying oh he's gonna come in the night he, do he does not have two horns that's just a, a, a picture that is being drawn by people enemy does not have two horns he's a spirit so he will come he will say things to you he needs your permission before he can get to you when the enemy said oh you will not achieve this and you accept it you agree with him then you will have sealed the contract it's a contract that you've made with him but if he says to you you are not good enough and you turn around and say no that's not what the Lord said about me I am good enough I can achieve this then he will not be able to get to you. The enemy does not want you to know the truth. He said, the word of God said, when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Until you know the truth, it will, you will not be set free. You might think you are free in the physical, but you are held bound by the enemy.